What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle Poole and I'm a photographer and video creator. I put a story up on my Instagram asking people to send me raw images so that I can edit them with my new preset pack. I got an overwhelming amount of responses and photos sent to me. So many amazing photos. So if you don't see your photo in this video, I'm going to be making more of these videos. So you may see it in another one, but thank you so much for everyone who submitted. You guys submitted just incredible photos. You're really making me want to go back to the mountains and just inspiring me to go out and create even more. So thank you for that. And let's get into the editing that's what we're all here for let's get into the editing process so for the first photo this is an absolute badass all-terrain zombie apocalypse looking race vehicle and it looks like it's shot in like the coolest terrain ever so shout out to phil awesome photographer so for this photo as soon as i looked at it i decided that this needs an absolute punch of just mm. so i put gotham on it gotham is my punchiest preset that i have and i think it just suits this photo perfectly all i did in terms of actual tweaking to the photo after i put the preset on was i just moved the shadows up just because they were a little too harsh um, it was shot in broad daylight so sometimes you do get some heavy shadows if it's shot around noon and then i just dropped the highlights down just to bring a little little more clarity to the photo so this is the raw image and this is the edited version phil actually submitted dose photos the second photo very similar to the first one another badass all-terrain vehicle i love editing vehicle photos in black and white there's just something about it that just screams print me huge and put me on your wall so that's what i decided to do i, I didn't print it but i put a black and white preset on it all i did for this photo was i added a little bit more grain love me some grain this is the raw image and then this is the fully edited finished product with my brand new preset salt and stone just a sexy ass preset plop down there looking grand so these next photos were taken in austria by an absolutely amazing creator as soon as i saw these photos i decided that they had this like vintage appeal to them that my new preset 1920 would just work so well on 1920 is like a black and white warm tungsten kind of preset all i did after putting the preset on was essentially just take this pole out of the background just so the focal point stayed really really central this is the raw image and then this is the fully edited version so like a lot of you who sent in photos you sent in like a whole onslaught of photos for me to pick from which was awesome because it even lets me narrow down which photos I want to use. So he said that this photo was actually taken the same day. And I thought it again, it just had this really nice rustic feel to it. With this edit on the photo, I feel like it was just dug out of like a photo album in your basement. This is the raw image. And then this is the finished product. Thank you so much for submitting this absolutely killer shot. So well done. Next up mountains. Thank you for more mountains making me jealous and wanting to go to the mountains. So this photo was taken in the Squamish Mountains. That is in British Columbia. I know geography. I decided that because this photo has a sunset or sunrise happening in the background that my preset high noon would look just perfect on it. High noon really works for any kind of warm toned photo. So this just gave this photo like a little more life. And then I just brought the brightness up in the photo just to really emphasize that this is like a nice summer day sitting on the mountains probably having some some mountain chili sipping a camelback of water just chilling this is the raw image and then this is the fully edited version which i am super happy with link in bio to my presets thank you so much for submitting this absolutely killer photo and making me just want to go to the mountains so for the next photo i like i've said i love black and white car photography i think it just looks so sharp it just adds this cool character to it and it doesn't matter what color the car is it just looks so good so i added my salt and stone preset to it i thought that the photo was a little dark when i put the preset on it so i did a mask over the actual car bumped up the clarity and the brightness and it just made the car pop that little bit extra made it nice and shiny because i know there's so many people that don't like black and white photography i decided that i was going to do a second edit on this photo with my preset high noon high noon was the preset we used for the mountains and it's a nice warm sunset kind of look and then the clarity was bumped up on the car as well, just for that extra shine. So this is the raw image and this is the fully edited version. Thank you so much for submitting this beautiful Mercedes Benz. On to the next one. Let's keep rocking and rolling. Oh, I got snacks at, mm, like I'm snack deprived. Next photo, a little knife, knife action. As soon as I saw it, one of my favorite presets to use for any kind of product photography is Gotham. Gotham just has that real punchy like, mm look to it and it definitely worked on this photo now there was a yellow piece in this photo that i wasn't 
I wasn't loving just because of how the preset looks with yellow, so I actually cropped that part out of the photo. And I think it actually made the photo a little more central anyway, so I'm happy with the crop. I also cropped it Instagram size, so that's kind of how, if I was using this photo, that's how I would use it. I put a mask on the knife just to really emphasize it, put the clarity up, brightness up. This is the raw image, and then this is the fully edited version. So thank you for that, and let's move on. Okay, next photos. These appear to be taken in a tropical climate and I'm gonna go with Hawaii. I decided that one of my favorite presets that I have made and or released in my new preset pack, which is called Kate McCannon. It is a Portra 400 film look, which is really soft, really muted colors, just beautiful. It is just, the, not just the preset, the, the actual Portra 400 look, which it's modeled after is just, such a gorgeous look. I actually use this preset for kind of a random array of things. I use it for portraits, which I think look the best with the Portra 400. I use it for like some product photography, pretty much all my Instagram stories that I post that were taken with my phone or just like a random Instagram story of a beer or something. If that gives you any context to like, you can kind of use this preset for anything. It just has a cool look to it. I was jazzed up with how this preset looked with these two killer photos. Starting off photo number one of the water and I pretty much just brightened this photo. It came in a little dark um, when I put the preset on, so I just kind of brightened it, moved the shadows around a little bit, but all around the colors of the portrait and the tropical feel to the photo, it just worked. So this is the raw image, and this is the finished product with my preset Kate McCannon on it. For photo number two, I've always wanted to edit a photo like this. Kudos to you, you got the shot, and I'm pumped to edit this, so thank you for sending this. Again, Kate McCannon just worked perfectly on it, just the blues look really nice. So this is the raw image, and then this is the finished product. Thank you so much for submitting, and moving on to the next set of photos. So for this photo, I decided that Again, I like the nostalgic feel to the photo, so I added the preset 1920. The photo was a wide photo, so I cropped this photo to a four by five to really bring the detail out of a certain aspect of the photo. Obviously, the shallow depth of field here just worked for cropping it in. So here's the raw image, and here is the finished product. So for this next photo, I used my preset Crossroads. Now, Crossroads is a pretty stylized look. Like, it can really only be used for certain things. It does not work very well if there's sky in the photo. You'll have to do a lot of adjusting for that because the whites really get hammered into like a pink kind of color. What I like to do for these photos is I use them for like high detail, like a stylized contrasty kind of look. I really got rid of the sky in this photo. I cropped it to a four by five. I really emphasized the vines and put the preset on it. I had to brighten it quite a bit. The preset is kind of a dark preset as it is and the photo was a little bit dark. So definitely needed to brighten the photo. So here's the raw image and here's the finished product. So I just wanna thank everyone for submitting their photos. I need to learn some new adjectives because my vocabulary is pretty, pretty lackluster. I'm finding out from my producer behind the camera. So yeah. These, preset, these presets are all available at the link in my description. So as always, thank you so much for watching everyone. I really appreciate all the love I'm getting on the channel and on my Instagram. So thank you for that. And yeah, I'm gonna go eat some snacks because I'm feeling kind of peckish, snacky. So peace and love everyone. Adios, goodbye, sayonara. <laughs>